What about your label? Mine? Yeah. Uh, release some new music soon? Yeah. Re recently, uh, there was this uh, Brigitte Fontaine rework that uh, Shaq from Paris just did. And uh, it was just released a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you know, in our label, we always have taken it extra easy. We never compromise nothing. Uh, so, so yeah, we're never in a rush. And uh, so, yeah, that was the, la the latest thing. Before that, uh, we had some stuff, but it was like late last year and early yeah. this year, like some some other stuff. But uh, yeah, we're, right now we are we have taken it cool. We we started doing last year. We started working on some pachanga stuff, but uh, we really like to work side by side on the you know on the same table uh, and not sending sending files so you know 2020 so yeah. we haven't uh we haven't really moved on on that but we as usual we don't have a rush and we don't have a deadline that's basically the main reason why we have our own little label to not have to deal with anybody and um it's interesting i never thought about it. yeah that that's the main reason why we yeah. We, we created it and that's the main reason I was never really too much in trouble finding an output for my stuff because we created this thing just to not ask permission to nobody, basically. No. Uh, so, yeah. And I'm a little bit... Uh, a little bit thinking about uh, doing a, a new... Like, a little bit... Uh, a little output of my own where I want to yeah. put some special stuff that I have uh, gathered in the in the last years and some cool music that I from other friends. Um, yeah. I'm thinking about doing like a, I don't want to even call it label because you know imprint imprint yeah like uh, and I don't want to have schedules. I don't want to listen to demos. I just want to do the things. Uh, I mean, I don't want what I mean. I don't want to look for new music. I just yeah. want to grab the cool things that are around me. That the, the the things, the things that I that I run into, which is uh, you know. Uh, so awesome. I just want to have something like this. I think, I think uh, this might be happening next year. I already have the ideas for the first. Uh, releases i just ha just have to put them together yeah and uh yeah it's so basically releasing stuff uh from really close friends which uh which have sent me stuff in the in the last uh you know lately and um yeah. basically that so uh, it's still working it progress have the output to help you know i don't know if it's i don't know i mean i feel like i started the label to help a lot of people mm. That's cool. That's yeah. definitely a nice approach. You now I still help, but the, most of the people that I release on the label, I, I mean, I get to know them. I mean, yeah. Now I'm like, if first you were invested in your friends, now you invest in the music, this kind of vibe, mm -hmm. which is cool also. Yeah. It's like a wild, wild west now outside, you know? It's like, yeah, outside, totally. like everybody does whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, totally. Nobody cares about anything. There's like, there's mm -hmm. no, um, you don't, you miss this kind of, respect among thieves kind of vibe that we had like in the in the older days yeah yeah you know today people send me stuff and they send it to 50 other people and exactly you know, already five people already signed it and then i need to speak with the owners of the other labels to say i'm sorry i didn't know that you already signed it you know this uh, kind of thing. i and, thank god we never and, went through that but uh but yeah i know what you mean that uh there's some people like so, I don't want to use the word desperate, but so on the mission of getting their music released that they don't even care which label they're sending it. They yeah. just send it to no every label. label they know. Yeah. And uh, that's like not the way, no. you know. Tell I, them in, uh, in two or three pointers how to be as cool as Roboedo. I'm not as cool as Roboedo. 
<laughs> I've never been as Cosmo, but I'm like the least cool guy. I have to say, when I started to release music with Cosmo, I was like a puppy, you know, uh, whatever, Cosmo, whatever you say, I will do. Just release me. I will never send to anybody, to anybody, any music. <laughs> I promise. I don't care. You know, I did. <laughs> there was one track that I asked Cosmo, listen, can I send it to Eskimo? The, you know, he heard it in one in one mix and he told, asked me what it was. I said, it's Fernandez, this kind of track that I had with the guitar. And, uh, and I cool. it to you and you didn't like it. And you think that uh, it's cool, you know, to do something like this. It's like, but, uh, you know, why you need to do a school of cool? You know, that's what you need to do. How to keep it cool. <laughs> I guess the first thing is uh, I would give the first tip. Like you said, don't be desperate and don't want something too much. That's the thing. Uh, yeah. This is something uh, I, I I learned a little bit. Uh, you know, it, it, I wasn't like this directly. You know, I uh, of course in, in my early in my early days uh, of DJing, of course I, I I wanted to ah yeah I want to, I want to play here I want to play there please, but then you realize everything is I mean everything happens at its time and then uh, uh, I also happen to. I was lucky to get surrounded by very nice uh, people which are also similar minded and very relaxed, like Matias Aguayo, like Michael, like Axel, which yeah. like super relaxed people, like so not trying hard, you know, like, uh, and then, you know, to be specific, working hard is very different from trying hard. I this know. is all super hardworking people, but they, they were never really like, you know, scratching the walls to get the, uh, to, to, to get stuff, you know, so, so I, I kind of be real, you know, it's difficult yeah. to be real to so this is be real, you know, be totally. Real. So that was part of my formation. And, uh, and, uh, for example, in the very early days when, when Matias was releasing my, my first uh, music in, in Komeme and, uh, some people would ask me like, Hey, uh, I would like to release this or that in, in some labels, like smaller labels from, you know, for, from far away, like, uh, yeah. uh, again, I don't want to say small or random labels yeah, okay, because yeah. this doesn't exist, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, just something. And, and, and he was giving me like, yeah, of course you can do whatever you want with, with your music. But, uh, but, uh, if, if, if I can give you a suggestion, try to belong somewhere, you know, yeah, try not to spread everything too much and try to follow some line. And yeah, I kind of, I, I will be honest. I, and I, I would say I made a lot of mistakes with my artist in my label. Yeah. I wouldn't say no, but uh, family is a family. That's what I always think. Even if, yeah. the, even if the father of the family is an idiot, <laughs> yeah, you know, true. family is a family. I will always take care of my artist. No of matter course. what. Definitely. No. Yeah. 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 No matter what, I will go from thick and thick and thin, fire and water. You know, I will do whatever, whatever totally. for successful for their success. But uh, it's hard, and I can understand that there is a time that you're like, uh, I don't need this shit. You know, but yeah. you be lucky. You know, you got lucky at the beginning. I got lucky in the beginning. Some mm. of the artists that released with me started to pick up with me. Got lucky in the beginning. You know. Mm -hmm. And that's the that's the main problem today. People are lost. You know, yeah. one of the reasons that literally there is 60 people now listening, mm -hmm. you know, because they feel that they don't know what to do. And the one thing that, you know, this kind of cool, it's come with don't worry, you know, work hard, make a lot Completely. of music. Completely. I when I started, I keep saying it, you know, when I started to send to Cosmo Music, I had like 70, 60 tracks, you know, they <laughs> weren't all, all good. You know, of course. There was, five six of that was nice and a lot of things that you need to work on but i had a lot of work i worked hard you know before i even tried to do anything of course you know, which goes against what i'm doing here but it's different times i will give it you know it's, nah, totally it's a different time yeah, yeah but you can still find yourself in the middle of all this yeah and find your cool somebody definitely said about your car in the studio and uh <laughs> about the porsche the best, the best that requires a lot of years of coolness and working your ass off <laughs> yeah that's for sure it yeah doesn't matter if you buy a porsche you will never be like able <laughs> i want to yeah. buy a porsche i told him if i want to buy a porsche exactly i want to buy a nice porsche not that i have now money but that was the 
that was the plan for this year to have a i want a 996 you know it's now it's becoming uh, a vintage yeah in my, in my head you know yeah, it's, yeah it is here it's becoming a vintage it's weird it's cool it has a lot of problems but it's still drivable you know it's, it's a awesome. it's a great car yeah, it's not something that you need to worry too much like the older yeah. models that you need to have a garage <sighs> tell me about it my yeah, like my, 80, sure. my 83 and my 74 are a pain in the ass like it's yeah, so it's... expensive just to maintain them so it's just like okay i have a car that i can drive and looks cool i'm worried that i'm not gonna look cool i'm not there yet. <laughs> that's why i still don't have it that's what people need to understand you still didn't release on impedance because you don't belong to impedance yet <laughs> honestly I don't know, yeah. Even I don't belong to Epidence. It will take me maybe another ten years. Yeah, if I can release something on Epidence. I'm not there. If, if I, if I would tell you, like some crazy, crazy big names that at some point asked, like, hey, I would love to release on Epidence, and it doesn't work like this. It didn't work. <laughs> I'm in the opposite uh, situation. I like pushing out people. I've never tried to be cool in the label. Mm -hmm. but i did like to bring the cool people this but i did try to bring a new kind of sound all the time a new version of a new sound for me for me in my kind of perspective of stuff yeah you know? but uh even myself i released on moshi moshi which is like an indie label they picked me like somebody Amazing. said yeah. you know some yeah. they wanted me to release there you know it's the same kind of thing i i would love to to release on something Indie-ish. Actually, this year I did a, a a remix for a band that that it's called All We Are, and uh, exactly. So yeah. so so really for nice. me, like oh, Domino, it was, yeah. for me it was like a a thing to to, yeah, to have really... something related to Domino. But you know the fucked up thing that they want to be dance, they want to be club. Everybody yeah. in that side, like Moshi Moshi, they get the guy Steven, the the A and R, and the guy that owns it. He's like, why you want to put vocals on your tracks? I'm like, I want to make indie music. <laughs> it's more indie, not the indie that people think. The of more course. Indie, the real indie. You know, but it's like, and I'm like, but not why. It's like, why? You make very cool music. For them, it's different, this kind of music. You know, it's a cool thing. Anyway, yeah. that's it for people will leave us.